we live, people? Are we live? Are we live? Wait for a few people to come in. Turn this around a little bit. So we're going to be cooking that away. We're going to be cooking that away. You need to kind of see what's going on, don't you? Uh, eh, probably should have done this before I started the video. How about that? Kind of see what's going on. Move that out of the way. We're gonna make a banana cake, people. Banana cake. Any more for a bit of banana cake? I have a big wad of bananas here that are squishy. And I always like to add a bit of extra fruit. So I've got some nice fruit that's mixed with brandy, no less. Wait for a few more people to come in and then we're gonna make a cake. I've got the oven on. A little bit while I chat. Whoa, we've gone a little bit on the wonk, people. Tony B. Live chat, there we go. You want a cup of tea? Do you want a sip? You have a sip of mine if you like, I'll share. It's a good cup. It's in my worm's eye view cup. So in July, I'll let you know, Tony, because you're the only one here at the moment. In July, it's going to be my blog anniversary. How about that? My vlog anniversary, which is my vlogging birthday. I will have blogged, vlogged every day for a year. What exact date is it? July the July the 19th is my vlog anniversary. So I'm going to give away in a competition my other worms I view mug that I made. Um, signed by my fair hands that I made at the Emma Bridgewater factory. So that is one of the prizes for my vlog anniversary. Who have we got here? Oh, one thumbs up, thank you people. I've had some innies and outies, innies and outies, lurkers, anybody else there? It's just you and me, Tony. That's fine, a cup of tea and a cake. I'm a bit of a chuck it in girl myself. So I have a base kind of recipe for a cake. I'm sure loads of people turn around and tell me I've done this completely wrong. But, shmi. Um, let's use this. A bit of a wipe. These silicon things, if you keep them out, they always end up a bit dusty. Whereas I'm sure if I put it in the drawer, it wouldn't get as dusty. Nice and clean. Well, it might just be you and me, Tony. Cake making. Right, I'll make a start. Butter, butter, butter. It's not real butter, unfortunately, it's this buttery butter, but it needs using up. It was an emergency butter that I got when we were almost out, so we had to get it from the local shop. I usually have lure packing. What do I need? 200 grams. So I thought if I use this up in my cake, it gets rid of it. More than that. Bit more than that. Oh look, half a tub gone already. So probably make two cakes out of this. Oh three people, hello, hello. Who have we got? Who have we got? Anyone else chit-chatting to me? No one wants to talk to me. Chris, hello, hello. At work, so you're keeping me company while I stay away. I wish I could send you some cake when we're finished. Sorry. Oh, you're making a tea so you don't feel left out. It's a shame I can't send, you know, that you guys that are watching can't all have a piece of cake. Isabel, hello, hello. I am well, thank you. Uh, it's Harry, you changed your channel. <laughs> hello, Harry. He's now an Isabel. How are you? Right, sugar. I don't have caster sugar, but that's fine. We will go with various forms of brown sugar. Like I said, I'm not strict for a recipe. Okay. What have we got? What have we got? I need 200 grams of sugar. Some of it is soft brown. That, that's fruit, fruity, fruit, fruit. Oh no, we've got a little bit of caster there. I'm going to use up these tart bags. Look at this. It's my little bag do a uppy thing. Quite the flavour. Hello, hello. I saw you enjoyed the uh, shopping haul the other day. I haven't done a shopping haul in ages. I've kind of stopped doing them because I'm trying not to spend money kind of needlessly. So I don't go into town very much. 
I end up just buying things like food, which is actually really boring. Um, do you know, I'm going to put the rest of this in here because I couldn't find granulated sugar in Aldi or Lidl. Aldi and Lidl, can you please get on and get some golden granulated sugar, please? You never seem to do it. So I'm mixing some soft brown sugar with some caster sugar. And it just kind of breaks up the soft brown sugar a bit. So I'm putting that in there for, you know, people who have sugar on their tea or I have it on my cereal. Just a little bit, but you know. Just a little bit. Ooh, oh, just a little bit. That was a, that was a, what do you call it? A song, wasn't it? Ooh, oh, just a little bit. That was a, Oh my goodness, that thing, Eurovision Song Contest. Bum buns, hello. Something happened that I wasn't told and we split with each other, unfortunately. Uh, I'm good, bunny, and I'm completely gone from each other for whatever reason. Oh, well, you're both in here. Come say hi to each other. You don't need to be cross with each other. Right, so sugar, 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 sugar. Right, mix. Now, the annoying thing is my blender is kaput. Not my blender, my... Oh, hold on. That might not be the case. I have one of these. I wonder if this has a... I always forget I've got this handheld jobby. Ooh, that's got water in it. Um, because my, you know... Electric whisk broke. Uh, now, where are the blendy rebits to go with this? I'm sure there was one. I'm sure there was. I'm sure there was. Unless, of course. Brendan binned it by accident. He had a big clear out for me. And I know he threw some away that were for the blender. I wonder if he got mixed up and threw all of them away. Possibly. Oh well. Get my arm muscles working, won't I? Never mind. Just have to beat it by hand. Good job I had the soft butter, really. Right, let's get mixing. Who we got in? Who have we got in? Gina G, that was it. Gina G, who are oh, just a little bit. I'm really not a Eurovision Song Contest fan. I'm not one of these that goes to Eurovision parties and all the rest of it. Every now and then I say something and a song comes into my head. It doesn't help because Lee says things like, there's a song in that. So we kind of do this thing where we say things and then we have a little sing song. Jackie and I started doing it on our walks as well. Old oh boy, hello, hello. So you're a fan of my sister then, old oh boy. My sister's getting quite a little fan base. Her hair's gorgeous, isn't it, her new haircut? She used to have a pixie cut all the time, but I think she just let it grow long for a change. And uh, yeah, looks good on her. Don't think I could pull off a pixie cut. Hello, old school and pebbles. You love a banana cake. My banana cake is never a straightforward banana cake. I kind of make it. What I used to do is use up bananas and stuff. When Brendan was little and we didn't have a lot of money, we were living off something like £14,000 a year and paying £800, £700 in rent. And, you know, as you can imagine, we did not have a lot of money for a couple of years when Brendan was little. Um, I was the main earner and I lost my job when I had him. Um, so we were living off Lee's wage for a little bit. And um, I'd make banana cake for breakfast, which sounds a bit weird, but it was filling and it was cheap. And I could pack it out with like cheap um, fruit, like raisins and stuff. And I could have it warm. So it was a nice warm breakfast for him or for all of us. So yeah, 
Right, I think I'm going to have too many bananas. It's going to be a very banana -y cake. I don't think I'm going to put them all in. So yeah, very overripe bananas. That one's, the end's come off, so I'm going to cut that bit off. There we go. Very overripe bananas. Six people in. Your kitchen drawer looks like mine. <laughs> That's actually, he's cleaned that out. That's actually a lot better than it was. I don't know what this football thing is. That came with an ice cream. And they can't bear to part with it, so it's still in there. Jackie should have a channel of her. Do you know she hates social media? I'm lucky she even agrees to come on my videos. So there's no chance. She's only got Facebook because she needed it for, um, for work. So she could keep up with, because she's a nanny, to keep up with all the um, channel, not channel, toddler groups and everything. Because everybody uses Facebook kind of to communicate things. So if a toddler group was cancelled, instead of having to walk all the way there with the kids, you know, she'd get a notification on her phone. But she hardly adds anybody to it. It's literally family um, or friends that, you know, she considers immediate family, really. She doesn't add other people. I don't blame her. I mean, I use Facebook very rarely. I've been using it a little bit more recently, but that's because I'm trying to get my... I've kind of neglected my group over the past year, and I need to really not neglect my group. I've got, like, over 11,000 members in it, so, you know, neglecting it is not <laughs> a good thing. Right. Cinnamon. Got to have cinnamon in it. And I'm one of these that likes a lot of cinnamon, so... Oh, there should be some eggs in there, shouldn't there? Should be some eggs. Let's chuck some eggs in. One. Like I said, I'm probably doing this completely wrong for, you know, real bakers will probably be telling me off. Two. But I never claimed I was a real baker. Three. Four. You know, I've got enough butter, enough eggs, and enough bananas that I could probably make two. Two of these? Oh my goodness. That would be quite good. Right. Mixy, mixy. Mixy, mixy. All right, what we got here? Oh. Live chat. Where's everyone gone? Paul stuff. Hello, Paul. How's things? I miss you guys. I do. We need another camp. I need a van. <laughs> um, I don't have any social media, only YouTube. Oh, oh boy. Thanks for coming and saying hi anyway. And uh, come back later and see what the cake looks like. Right, let's get some flour into this, it's curdling. Again, I'm sure there's a way to not let it curdle. Where's the flour? Okay, I haven't got any gluten-free flour, which is a little bit of a boo-boo on my part. So I'm going with spelt flour, which again is probably, I'm gonna have to put a bit of baking powder in it, I think, because I don't think it's self-raising. It's just spelt flour. But I will put some baking powder in it. Right, well that was good, exactly 200 in there. Perfect. Baking powder, baking powder, where is my baking powder? Uh, that's yeast, not yeast. There you are, baking powder. Kenzie nicely wrote it on the pot for me, because obviously the wrapper came off. on that spoon. It's usually a teaspoon, isn't it, baking powder? I don't want it to taste baking powdery. I know this is meant to be a science and I crucify it every time because I really don't follow the recipe or even really follow a recipe. But it's always worked for me in the past. <laughs> you wait, it'll be a flat pancake by the time I finish. Right, chuck it in, mix it up. Oh, gooey. Tastes good. Okay. You are making a dessert. I don't know what to say now. 
Mon Chi Chi, how are you? Hope you are well. I am making cake. Banana cake. You must think all I do is eat. It doesn't have chocolate in it though. Right. I think I'm going to make two of these, you know. I've got the ingredients for two. Right. That's all the important stuff in that actually makes it a cake. Oh, that itchy nose. It always happens on a live stream. Itchy nose. And then we'll chuck some of this in. About that much. Yeah, about that much. Here we are, look. Cake mix. Do you love a bit of cake mix? Do I want more raisins than that? This stuff's got brandy in it as well, so it's going to taste the brandy. Whoa, that is actually quite a strong smell of brandy. Whoa, live chat, where's everyone gone? Uh, oh, where are we? Well, my wife bakes a chocolate birthday cake. Oh, whose birthday is it? Hello, Paul's wife. Um, what do we think, more raisins? Well, happy birthday to your daughter. Do you know, I think I'm going to go with that. I'm going to do the first one as a tray bake, I think. Cup of tea, anyone? Oh, do you know what? I wish I had some Baileys. Arse some Baileys to you too. I'm assuming that was ad, not arse Baileys. My sister's the Baileys addict. She's always got Baileys around. I don't know if you uh, watched my video where we did the archery and she did the tomahawk throwing, but in the background you can just hear Kenzie say, you can never have Baileys again, just before she threw the, the tomahawk, because she loves it that much. It'd be like someone turning around and telling me, I could have no tea. Who's that ringing me? 07920. That's not a number I recognise and it doesn't come up with a name. I'm going to decline it. Sorry if it was you reading me. If I don't, if it doesn't come up with a name, then I don't answer it. They can always leave me a message. They can leave, oh, that might have been about babysitting tonight. Oh, I'm sure she'll leave a message. It'll be fine. I'm working till, I'm not sure what time tonight, actually. So I've got a little one being dropped off by his child. And then I'm taking him home and putting him to bed. So for my for my van fund, I'm signing up to an, a nanny agency, which I haven't done since I've had kids. Signing up to a nanny agency for some evening babysitting. Because I charge like six pounds, well actually I've just put it up to seven, seven pounds an hour babysitting now. But my sister gets like between 10 and 12 pounds and the agencies say most babysitting jobs are between 9 and 14. So I figured if I did some babysitting jobs in the evening the kids will be asleep most of the time and I can earn some more money. So I'm not exhausting myself too much and I'm still earning. That is my plan and then I can go into my van fund. <laughs> ADD. <laughs> right. Elizabeth, hello. That was me ringing, was going to do some heavy breathing. Oh, sorry. You'll have to try again later. Drew's food reviews. Banana cake. I'm gonna make two actually, because I've got enough ingredients for two. Right, let's put that in for, I don't know, what should we say, 20 minutes, half an hour, 20 minutes. We'll go 20 minutes. Like I said, everything's very rough with me. What is that, 180-ish? Should we go again? Batch number two. Why not? Let's have two cakes. Like I said, one can be frozen if need be. 200 grams of butter. That uses up all that butter that I needed using up. Oh, I'm gonna have to go to the fridge and get some actual butter butter. Butter butter. Right, that's not quite enough. Look, there's my camper van saving thing. I don't know if you can see my little chart. 
So I am saving. I'll get there eventually. Slow and steady wins the race and all that jazz. Right, let's get some more butter. Butter, butter. Oh, look at that. Look at me using up bits of stuff. Right, go on, in you go, butter. 200 grams. Take that one and go back in there. Now I only have one butter. That's good. Than some that are so Does anyone else's family open several pots of the same stuff? It drives me crazy. Uh, I can send you the extra one. You can do a review on it. I've got mucky hands now. Drew's food review can review my thrown together banana cake mixes. Oh, I didn't taste the banana mix, did I? Bad pepper. Uh, bye, Paul. Thanks for stopping in and saying hi. Right. Sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Now, instead of opening that one, I'm going to use the sugar mix that I just made, because that's got some nice soft brown sugar in it. Right, there we go. Mixy, mixy. Mixy, mix. Uh, I have a banana split cake that I can make from box. Oh, one of the, the box packet mixes. Lindsay likes me getting packet mixes because it's just something really quick he can do. Kenzie does like a bit of making, a bit of baking and cooking and that's his thing. Likes his cakes, does that boy. But he likes to cook real food too, like, you know, meals. He's always enjoyed baking. So how was everyone's weekend? What have you all been up to? Everyone had a good weekend. It was Open Farm Sunday here in the UK. So we had a lot of local farms opening up, showing us what they do and what they produce, how their farm works, which is really good, getting kids to see where their food comes from. It's amazing how many kids don't know where their food comes from. I think it's Tesco's or whatever. Squish the butter, squish the butter. Squish the butter. So yeah, that's what we did, open farm weekend. Um, got Marmite sausages to try. You had a migraine all weekend. Was delightful. Ooh, of course it's gone now. I have to go to work. Yeah, always wait, Chris. Well, I'm glad it's gone, but I'm sorry you had to suffer all weekend with such a horrible migraine. Had bad storms. Where's it gone? Bad storms, rain, high winds, 80 miles around my fence blower. Yeah, I saw. You poor thing. Notice that your fence had gone. Nice to see you're still safe. We've got a grotty week. I don't think we've got any real high winds coming, but we've we've got a grotty week of basically winds. Wind and storm for most of it. But it's June. June is UK's monsoon monsoon season. It's when we get all our rain. So So you said you don't get many storms. Is that the case then in Australia? You just it's quite unusual for you to get Stormy weather. Squish the bananas. A couple of bananas in that. Must work really well. Look, enough ingredients for two. Yum. The rest of the cinnamon can go in there. Look at me using up all the leftover ingredients. This one's not going to be as cinnamony, I don't think. Can I get 
the lid off that. No, come on, out you come. Excellent. Put that in the recycling. Australia gets storms in summer. I see. I made a cooking video today, barbecue ribs and potato salad. Oh my goodness. I do love a good potato salad, but they do not like me. My aunt used to make an awesome, well she probably still, but she, she lives in Canada, so I don't see it, but she makes an awesome potato salad with paprika and eggs and all sorts of stuff, and it's so good. Queensland does anyway. Super hot humidity day, and then even, oh yeah, that makes sense. That does make sense. Oh, you know what I haven't done? Put the eggs in. Like I said, I never follow the recipe. Let's put that in now, haven't I? One. Two. this down get one or two storms in summer western australia not what was that not one this year well now you have now you've got your storm slop 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 I never make cakes as they're meant to and i know i've said i know there's a science to it and you're meant to add things in a certain way i do cream the butter and the what you call it though butter and the sugar but I always I just chuck things, things in tastes good at the end <coughs> and then we need the flour flour now I do need to open the spelt flour Brendan did say he mixed some of the flowers together. I do hope he's mixed the same flowers with the same flowers. Otherwise this will have tummy ache inducing flour in it. It seems to be all right with spelt flour. I'm not so bad with it. I think it's because it's not messed with. It's an ancient grain. I think it's what we do to our flour now that makes me have tummy ache when I eat it. I've got here six people and six thumbs up. Thanks. You guys are lovely. So I was just saying earlier on, I've got my vlog anniversary next month. My vlog anniversary. I'll have been vlogging every day for a year. What is that? I was a raisin. <laughs> every day for a year. Um, on the nineteenth of July. So I'm going to do a little competition. Why? Done something wrong. This is very thick. Did I put too much flour in it? Bother. Hmm. I think while I was talking, I might have doubled the flour. <laughs> this actually looks more dough like. And it does cake like. That's more dough, isn't it? What did I do? Right, you know what? When in doubt, chuck in some more butter and some more eggs, right? And a bit more sugar. <laughs> you lot will all be going, oh my god, what is she doing to that cake? You can't just go and do that. Well, I am. So there. What happens, you see, when you talk and cook? 
It'll still taste fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's go get some more butter. It will be fine. It's got to be my most used phrase because I balls everything up. It will be fine. And I didn't put the baking powder in. Now's not really the time to add baking powder, is it? You stupid woman. Okay, now this cake might not work because I've balled it up so much. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of flour. She isn't even measuring. No, I was measuring. I do have scales. But yeah, I've put too much flour in. So now I've got to somehow add some more, some more stuff. What am I doing that? I need that. Stupid woman. What is wrong with me? Yeah, definitely too much power. So I'm going to try and rectify the problem. Whoa! If anyone was here looking for a cooking channel, look again. <laughs> My channel is not it. I'm just going to melt that over. I'm no chef. Banana bread. Yeah, banana bread. It's going to be bread. Yes. We have scales. We don't do cups. It's going to be a massive cake. And this is the second cake. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, let's just soften that up. It'll be fine. Ooh, no one will know. We'll just we'll keep this as a secret between us, yeah? No one will know. It's not quite double the mixture. It it'll be it's not as, let's mix that butter in though. No one wants lumps of butter in their cake because that really does wreck a cake. Done that before, you get grease coming out the top of it. So I'll make sure all that butter's well and truly blended in. That's why I melted it a bit first. It looks better, still a bit thick, but should I add more sugar? obviously didn't just have a little bit more I'm not weathering it we'll just sprinkle a bit more of it in there we go a bit more cooking with it I should have my own channel shouldn't I my own cooking channel cooking with pit how not to do it that is one big cake mix Tastes like cake mix. <laughs> Tastes like cake mix. Right, what we're we doing here? A two pound banana cake. Right. Mm, Frankenstein experiment. Yep, now I've got to find something to put it in. It'll be fine. Hmm. not going to be a lot of rising going on in that. Right, just grease the pan. Greasy, greasy, greasy. Greasy, greasy, greasy. dump some of this mix in here. Maybe I'm making three cakes. 
Oh my God, we're going to be eating banana cake for literally the rest of eternity. End of days is arriving and Pippa's prepared with banana cake. Yeah, that will do, right? Hope the kids like banana cake. I know Evan and Lucy do, but it's got raisins in. They might not eat it with raisins in. Evan probably won't if it's got raisins in. Now it's all over my hands. My fingers. I love cake mix. Love it, love it, love it. There's a song in that as well, isn't it? Loving it, loving it, loving it. What's that song? Is it like a football? A rugby or football thing? Loving it, loving it, loving it. And it was in the charts? Ooh. I can't remember. Right. So, I've made a billion cakes. I'm making a billion cakes. I have no idea how it will taste. I don't expect it to rise. I have no eggs. Well, I've got two eggs left. Silly old kit. Silly old kit. People leave me in charge of their kids and I can't even make a cake. Right, washing up to do next. some chocolate raisins oh don't mention chocolate why would you do that tony why would you mention chocolate to a girl that hasn't got any this one may be big enough for pip to jump out of the cake yeah that'd be cool i'll make it a hole in the middle do that for my uh for my vlog anniversary couldn't i right let's turn you around a little bit if i touch this it's all gonna go put again isn't it Eat. Do the dishes. Right. Get everything ready for the recycling. I haven't got a lot of dishes because everything's still full of cake. Much like our bellies will be for the rest of the week. I wonder how many ways I can dress cake up to make out like it's a healthy meal. Oh, let's just test the first one. That doesn't look done. <laughs> okay. I did say 20 minutes might not be enough. I didn't want to burn it because it's in a tray. I always find trays cook quicker than cake cakes. Cake cakes. Right. Is there anything else I could sprinkle in? What do you think? Nutmeg? Do you think nutmeg would go nicely? Because there wasn't a lot of cinnamon. There is a lot of brandy fruit though. 
you guys can stop messing, don't mess, Pip. That water's hot. Ouch. Asbestos hands. Where are the people? Where are my people? Right, I need to heat up my tea because I've let it go cold. Turn you back around again. Ooh. Still on the wall, can't you? I'm I'm getting a gimbal. Oh, I need to order it. Lee's giving me the money for a gimbal because it's my birthday in a couple of weeks. So he's given me money because I never want anything. I'm really not a very high maintenance girl, I have to say. Um, I don't really want things. I'm not a big possessions person. Um, but a gimbal would be quite useful. I scold my mouth now, isn't it? A little stir. Yeah, that's very hot now. Probably somewhere in between would have been good. Do you know what I am going to do? Excuse me while I open you up. Is put some. Oh, not apple pie seasoning. That's not what I want. Oh, a little bit of pancake cinnamon sugar on this one over the top. Yeah. Cinnamon sugar for pancakes. We'll see what it does on the cake, shall we? I've sprinkled it over the top. And it's another thing I've just used up. It is my day of using things up. Right, let's go to the living room. Let's go to the living room. Oh, I've done my housework, which is good. Make a cake, make it a cake, my make it a cake. What sort of English is that, Pip? Good Lord. Made a cake. And what I do want to do is have a bath in a bit before, because I'm working till I think 10 o'clock-ish tonight. So, there we go. Let's see who's still here. Hands up if you're still here. Still, you're still here. Well, that's been 42 minutes of cake baking. And I've got like three billion cakes. They'll freeze all right, won't they? I mean, if they turn out okay, they'll freeze all right. I'm sure they will. Hands up. High five. I'm sure they will, right? Cakes freeze. Well, I mean, anything freezes. It's whether or not it turns out okay after it's frozen. I think I might freeze them. Wrap them up in some parchment paper yeah you got two hands are you both there or is it just both your hands oh what a lovely day it's very relaxing on my Mondays I've got nothing booked in it has been quite a full-on weekend though I don't think I really had much of a lay-in this weekend not a proper what I'd call a proper lay-in like you know like a lunchtime both hi both how are those baby dolphins doing? Are they um, are they still around, or do they go off into deeper water when they've done their, you know, birthing thing, done their thing? I, I know very little about dolphins, except they're very cute and very brainy. So do they hang around the harbour, or do they go further out to sea? I mean, do they come into the shallows to give birth and then go back out? They don't know. And how long do they stay with their mums? Do they stay and feed? For a long time or will they be on their own merry sweet well they're in pods aren't they so i suppose they'll stay as a family group maybe i don't know tell me tell me what you know about your dolphins I'm actually up with the chat for a change no still around two died but still 30. oh that's sad they stayed with mum for about two years. Ah, cool. It's raining cats and dogs. It is pretty grotty, isn't it? Tony, now I should know whereabouts you're from because 
I watched a video on it, but I can't remember. I think the whole of the UK is pretty grotty right now. I think everywhere is rain. Because we've just got this huge, and I don't know about you, but it's set for the whole week here. It's still really warm though, it's quite muggy. We had to cancel forest school this morning because of the, um, because of the rain and the predicted high winds. So that's not happening today. It'll absolutely bucket it down at three o'clock when I have to do the school run. Right, I have to get some lunch if you're still on. Is it lunchtime? Hey, Pinek, when did that happen? If you're still on when I return, I'll see you then. If not, thanks for the stream. Thanks, Chris. Nice to see you. No, I will probably have to go and have a bath in a minute because I want to have a bath because I'm going to be going... I've finished this job and I'm nannying into the evening tonight. Um, so I'm not going to get a shower until much later. I might even do my hair as well. It feels a bit yuck. I might just go and have a bath, wash my hair. And I've got to pick Brendan up as well. Yeah. I haven't got time for lunch. I've got two billion cakes to eat. So I'm going to be having a bath between checking on cakes. That's going to be a pain, isn't it? I'm going to be in and out of that bathtub. Newmarket, that was it. Newmarket. So there's Newmarket near Cambridge. My brother and sister-in-law are in Cambridge. Ely? Ely? Yeah, Ely. Or near Ely. A little village near Ely, I think. I've never actually been to their house. It's really bad, isn't it? I should really go. They tend to come and visit us because they get to see all the family then. Um, and we can't really go and stay with them because they run a bunny sanctuary and every room, garden, everything has rabbits in it. So there's no real room for humans. But we could go up and stay. When I get my camper, then I'm going to go and see all sorts of things and people and what have you. There's lots I'd like to see, but when we go away... It doesn't feel like we're going away unless we go to the seaside because we live so far from the sea. So we want to go to the seaside. So it kind of limits where we go. So yeah, it, we are very limited. We limit ourselves. And then by distance, because we don't want to spend forever driving there because we only ever really go for like three or four days. So we don't want to spend all that time traveling. Um, but when I get my van, I'm going to see all sorts of things. I'm just going to decide to go. Actually, Brendan said he's not really that interested. Lee's not really that bothered. But Kenzie did say he'd come on travels with me. So that's nice to know. Kenzie and I'll go seeing the world together. Well, the UK. It'll be good. I think it'll be good. So ideas, people. How can I make my billions? What can I do to get myself that doesn't involve selling myself? <laughs> Not selling myself. <laughs> what can I do to raise more money? When we used to travel, three hours of travelling was it? Yeah, that's kind of what we do. It's like three hours. But if I was if I was in if I was in the thing I was going to be staying in, then I would, you know travel more city breaks i would travel more you know i'd go somewhere and then maybe travel on the next day and see something a bit further i wouldn't be as restricted but when i've got the kids in the car and we're literally driving to a destination we don't want to be in the car for more than like four hours see i want to go back down to cornwall and i haven't done cornwall with the kids because it's like six hours to get to the top bit of cornwall if i want to get down to like penzance and Lizard Point and stuff like that. Well, not, Penzance not so much, but if I wanted to get to like Lizard Point, which I do at some point, then you're looking at hours and hours and hours. Um, and when you're only going for like four days, it's a bit pointless. Oh, we're there, yeah, exactly. And Kenzie, oh my God. I mean, this is why we stopped going anywhere. We didn't do holidays for a long time. Um, we didn't do holidays a lot anyway we'd just do like long weekends away because with the autism 
if you know taking brendan into a new environment was just hell you know he'd be wild because we were going away and then he'd be wild while he was getting used to the place and then by day two or three he was just coming down again and then it'd be time to go home and so you just it was hard work and then now and that's why we always do premier in because premier in was like you knew what what to expect so when we got there they had the same pictures on the wall they had the same layout everything was the same it was just in a different location so that was really helpful and then of course with Kenzie when he was diagnosed he would get anxious and worried about various things and so it was the same thing all over again um but again like Premier Inn really helped because it was a, a stable constant throughout the whole thing and now they're a bit older um it's getting it's going to get more difficult to do Premier Inns because Brendan's nearly an adult although he did say we're meant to be going away or well, we are going away in August. Um, Camper Van Tails have given us their static motorhome again. They are so kind to us. But Brendan's actually just said he doesn't want to go away. Um, he'd like to stay here. And I'm not leaving him here, here. He's going to stay with grandparents and what have you. Or someone will stay here with him. But I knew it would come at some point. I mean, he's going to be 18 in six months, so... You know, I wasn't still going away with my parents when I was his age. I was going away with my friends. God, that'll be the next thing, won't it? He'll go away with his friends. <gasps> He's going to do his driving lessons in the summer holidays. Oh, my God. About 15 miles from Cambridge and Ely. I was born there. Oh, were you? 14 miles the other way, you can see Ely Cathedral from Newmarket. Wow, okay. Well, if I ever make it out that way, you can take me out for a cup of tea. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Brendan's a great kid. He is a great kid. They're both great kids. Yeah, they are. They are so good. I've been very lucky with them, I have to say. I know I'm a bit biased, but they are. They're, you know, it's not been easy. But then raising kids isn't easy. Whatever, you know, whether they're neurotypical, whether there's issues, is issues, that's the wrong word, you know, difficulties or, you know, whatever, something else going on. It doesn't matter. Kids are hard work. Um, but they're turning into nice young men. So, can't have done too badly. <laughs> he seems so low back at home. You know what? Most people wouldn't know. Um, and most people do say they wouldn't know, but if things become too much for him, he shuts down. And then, then you start seeing the autism, but you don't really see it. I mean, you guys don't see it on, I don't think you see it on the vlogs. Um, he does get quite a bit of support still at school through his A-levels. He does have a statement of education. Um, he does have a scribe. He does have support workers to help him. And it's, it's the school have been amazing. It's all stuff just so that he doesn't get to a point where everything becomes overwhelming and then he becomes it become it becomes a build up of not being able to cope and then that's when the autistic traits really start to show but as he's got older he's found so many coping mechanisms and the school have been great with him and taught him coping mechanisms i'd like to think that we've taught him coping mechanisms um and he's yeah he's going to do well he's going to get himself a job and he's going to do really well but when he was when he was younger I didn't expect him to do exams. He was under a table, you know, not speaking to anybody. So he's come a long way. He's not under a table anymore. And he talks to people. <laughs> and Kenzie, bless him, he's fine. But again, his 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 anxiety goes in, inwards. Um, and before I started doing YouTube, um, Kenzie was diagnosed with ASD and Tourette's and we were told that it would either get worse when he hit teenage years better or not change and I have to say touch wood he hit teenage years or he, or he hit you know adolescence and it looks like the Tourette's has gone so that was good because I, you know I felt so sorry for him it was such a hard thing for him because he doesn't like attention being drawn to him so having Tourette's is not really the thing you want when you don't like attention drawn to yourself right 
Well, it looks like a cake. It smells like a cake. And it looks like it's done. That was the first one. So far, so good. Has anyone spoken to me? Right. Next one in. No, I've left, left the door open on the other one, which means we're going to get that cold. Okay. What should I put this one on for? That was half an hour, wasn't it? Should we do half an hour? I'm going to do 25 minutes. Because, no that wasn't, that was 45 minutes. I'm going to go with half an hour. The oven's hotter now, isn't it? Well, I mean, it shouldn't be. It should be because I let it warm up. But... Oh, stop waffling, Pip. Right, okay. We're going to have a banana cake party. Everyone can come and eat banana cake. It'll be fine. Right. And I've still got banana cake there to deal with. So we'll put that on the side to cool. To cool. Should we go run a bath? What was the next job on the list, wasn't it? I better blow out my candles. I don't want to burn my house down with me in the bathtub. For some reason, this is going to sound, it's probably too much information for you guys. It's pretty disgusting. For some reason, my um, hoover smells like a public latrine. I have no idea why. Go out. I don't want to smoke. I'll set the smoke alarms off. It smells like a public latrine and I have no idea why. It's disgusting. I've cleaned out all the tubes and everything else. I've changed the bag. I think it's the filter. It was wet. For some reason, it was soaking wet inside my hoover. So somebody's done something they shouldn't have done. Um, I don't know if peed in my... Who would pee in a hoover? Nobody would pee in a hoover. Anyway. Anyway. Um, so when I hoover, there's still like this lingering smell. Even though I've cleaned it all out, there's still a lingering smell. So I put candles on. Right. Look at the way he's sleeping. Does that look comfortable to you people? He does sleep in the funniest of positions. Right. We'll go run a bath. Still four of you here with me. I've not bored you all yet. This is like the most unorganised live chat ever. Right. Let's go run a bath. So those Epsom salts were working. They really helped that night. I don't know if it's coincidence. I liked it. Look what I did, I broke my light. My light handle is now all the way up here. It's not gonna be any good for the kids, is it? Well, let's just put you, let's just put you here. Look at you, wonky on the, on the thingy there. Plug in the bath. Get the Epsom salts. I've been making big hints to the boys because it's my birthday in a couple of weeks. I've been going, hmm, I really like Epsom salts now, boys, if you want to get me some. Pound shop. Hopefully it'll work. So it's like two big handfuls. That's pretty much most of the bag. That might be enough for a minute. That's right. Look, that's like one big handful. I've got enough in there. Oh, I may as well use the whole thing, haven't I? No, no, I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that. For another bath. Right. I don't know who's still here. I'm just waffling now, people. We've just made it to nearly the hour. 59.22 minutes. So I think what I'm going to do is say goodbye now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with my waffle. Talking rubbish. And watching me disastrously ruin cakes. Don't follow my recipe. Not that I had a recipe. Don't follow my, you know, my example. Do it properly. And I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching. <laughs>